All right, guys, pneumatics lab number six. Now, we saw it earlier when we were using the, the AND circuit that without the two pressure valve, uh, that it worked fine, but there's no way that you could have one complicated circuit and another complicated circuit happening together because all we did was we just seriesed up the two switches. So if you need to have a more complicated circuit, uh, then you can make use of the two pressure valve. Okay, so if you needed one thing and another thing to happen before the output happened, then you can make use of this guy. It looks very similar to a T. It has two inputs and it has a single output. The way that you'll dis distinguish which one this is in the lab is embossed on the front. It'll have this exact image of the AND valve. Okay, the other name for this guy is the two pressure valve. It needs one, two pressures of basically equal value before the output will actually happen. Okay, so pushing both push buttons at the same time are going to allow for the single acting cylinder to extend. If either of the push buttons is released, the cylinder is going to retract. Okay, so basically this symbol right here corresponds to our AND gate. All right, guys, so let's hook this up on the fluid sim and see how it works. Okay, so now you've probably clued into the fact that you can probably leave each of these components on the page here, delete your previous piping, and then you can throw in for the next lab. So let's see, we need an AND circuit. So we need to feed both of these guys. So we're going to feed this guy, and we're going to click, hover over this line, and then drop it in. There we go. So now they're all fed from the compressor now. And before we had the first push button going in series with the second push button. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drop in our AND valve. So let's scroll down and we'll see if we can find that two pressure valve. Ah, here we go. Excellent. So we're going to grab this guy, drop it in there. Very nice. Now it's a little bit crowded, so maybe we'll grab all this stuff and drop it down a little bit to provide us with a little bit more room to play with. We'll drop our two pressure or AND valve in between our two switches. And then we'll just line this guy up to make it pretty. Excellent. This guy is going into the input. This guy is going into the input. And we have our single output from the AND valve. Excellent. Pr press play. You can see that the dark and blue is their pressure going to each of our three twos. They're normally close to the passage of air right now. If I hit one, nothing happens. Now let me press shift and you can see what happened there. You can see that this has moved over here and it's now blocked the air from going up to the single acting cylinder. Okay, if I let that guy go and press this one, you'll notice that the inside of this end valve will shift over and block that air going up to the single acting cylinder. Okay, so it looks like hitting one or the other is not going to work because we're looking for an AND circuit now. So we're going to hit shift, click on the first button, then we'll click on the second button and we should have the air transfer up to the single acting cylinder. Excellent. The only problem with this uh, simulation here, if I hit shift here, is that they haven't moved this over to the midpoint to show that their air is actually traveling up to the single acting cylinder. Let's bring it back to our rest state here. Okay, again, I'm going to hit one push button with shift hit the next push button, and then you'll see that the air goes up to the single acting cylinder. Excellent. Let go of any one of these guys. And it returns to its rest state. Excellent. So now we could have a, a more complicated circuit here or a number of series of events here, a number of series of events here, and then we put the two outputs from those circuits into an AND circuit, AND two pressure valve here, and that will allow our output to go out. All right, guys, let's hook it up in the lab. All right, guys, so let's move on to number six. So right now what I have is lab number five, that OR circuit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this T and I'm going to replace it with the two pressure valve. So what's a little bit messed up is that right now I have a parallel circuit. I have the feed going into either one of the switches, but the feed seriesing or paralleling up the, the feed is not going to decide my logic. What's going to decide my logic is the output from those two switches. So the output from my push buttons is now going to go into a two pressure valve. So in my tackle box, I've got a two pressure valve here. So I don't know if you can make it out. There's a, the markings on the front to show it's, that it's a two pressure valve. So we'll hook these guys up to the two inputs on the two pressure valve. 
looks very similar to a T, but it needs to have equal pressure on either side before a pressure will actually escape out of there and go to the single acting cylinder. So, let's see. We have one push button, nothing. Second push button, nothing. This is supposed to be an answer, good? So if we press this and this, then it extends. Okay, let go of either one of them. And it's going to retract. Okay, so this is an answer where we have to hit this guy and this guy in order for it to extend. Now this, wor this one was working fine when we seriesed up the two switches, but now we can have more complicated circuits that are tied together with the two pressure valve, or if we need to have two different things happening, uh, maybe later on we're gonna have <clears throat> the cylinder in the retractor position, and then we're gonna hit the push button. So this allows us to do a number of different series circuits. All right guys, that's it for this lab.